Alright people, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 3. Postcom, yeah. So, now that we've gotten all the ultimate weapons from Eureka the Forbidden Land, um, except for the final piece of Exodia, that sucks. I wish I could have gotten you, oh dear Exodia. But hey, that sucks. Um, the Crystal Tower. Like, now that we've done all the stuff in the Forbidden Land, we basically, we're gonna ascend to the top of the Crystal Tower. Why am I stopping? So yeah, um, there are multiple paths to take. I just, uh, I don't know, like, I... It's weird. Sometimes I feel like I take the right path, um, accidentally. Like, there can be other paths, but I'll take the... I'll take the, uh, right path accidentally, not knowing that's the right path. And even with all that grinding, like, good lord. This guy still hurt. Like, leave me alone. I'm not grinding for you. I'm not grinding just to beat encounters, man. That in itself is a pain. But yeah, the Crystal Tower is pretty much the last, the, 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 I don't want to say the last big dungeon, um, even though that's the right thing to say, it's the last big dungeon we'll be exploring. Oh look, Dead End, my favorite. Could have been like 12 random encounters already. Speaking of which, ninjas! <laughs> so yeah. Like, yeah, ninjas. Ninjas just show up in the crystal tower. I don't get it. What what are Zan Zan's hired ninjas to, to kill us? Like, I don't get what ninjas are doing in a crystal tower. I mean, if Zan Zan's paying them, that's fine. So whatever, man. But hey, ninjas, ninjas are just ninjas. They do all the same stuff that ninjas do. Like, if they hit you, you get poisoned and blinded. So you get the you get the double threat along with damage, so it's a triple threat. Anyway, now that I'm running low on on eye drops and antidotes, here's where I'm thinking like, oh man. Imagine how far I'm gonna have to backtrack if I'm if I'm gonna get antidotes and stuff again. I'm not doing that, so I basically think, like, there's no point in, there's no point in going back, so I have to strategically think about how I'm gonna deal with poison and blinding. Overall, the Crystal Tower? The Crystal Tower, besides boasting really hard enemies, isn't all that crazy. I, I dig the architecture. This place looks... 
This place looks beautiful. I lo I love the look. And the music, the music is really, really epic for what we're about to do. Ninjas! You guys like ninjas? Oh man, ninjas! Oh yeah! God, I love ninjas so much! Don't you guys just like ninjas? Aren't ninjas your, your favorite thing? Get ready to see this encounter like three more times. If you like ninjas, and, and enjoy, because ninjas, they just, they just show up whenever they feel like. They're, they're here to ruin my day, and eat up my eye drops and antidotes. Like, I get it, don't, don't screw up my day any more than you already have. Ninjas! Yay! <laughs> oh man. But what was I saying beforehand? I really do dig the Crystal Tower. Like, I think this place looks really cool. Like, this place is cool, topped with the fact that. It's it pretty much it's pretty much what it needs to be. It's it's the final Takata before you go to the real final boss. Like the area with the real final boss. One thing that this crystal tower knows what it's doing is it hooks you up with a lot of shuriken, a lot of elixirs, and a lot of phoenix downs. Because they know what you're going up against is gonna is gonna hurt and they want you to be as prepared as possible. So I can appreciate the crystal tower for doing that. But yeah, the the only reason I keep in these random encounters is because they're different. Like, I shouldn't have kept in those two ninja encounters. Like, ugh. But, but I I keep in some of these encounters because you know they're cool. Like, look, we have a Goldor clone. He doesn't do much other than attack from memory, but. It's cool, it's cool to see like these little recolors, so I I just decided, hey, look, I'ma keep I'ma keep you in. You're cool. Enjoy your life. Look at that, we're getting we're getting so close to level 50. And even then, the game still expects you to grind. Like level 50 is pretty much where you need to be to beat to beat the game. <laughs> With like the the highest you need to go to maybe say like to like 
trivialize the final boss. It would be 60. Like, honestly, don't go anywhere above 56, if I'm gonna be real. Like, there's, there's no point in going anywhere above the 50s. Because the game is pretty much over at that point. And what that's the one thing I hate about hate about like the final area. They expect you to grind more because the final boss actually never mind. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut because that's coming up soon and I'd rather I'd rather it say it when the final boss is actually kicking my ass. He's gonna stand there all day, or are we gonna ascend this crystal tower? Look, look, they, they those fucking ninjas, they ate my last eye drop. They made me consume my last eye drop. So I'm think I'm really scared now. Like if I get poisoned or fucking ninjas. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare. I know what you're thinking. You best not. Fucking rip. There's poison and blind on Camus. That's just unfortunate. So yeah, Canvas is going to be running around blinded for a while. Luckily, he can just use his swords as walking canes. So <laughs> so he has no he has no worries about um He has no worries about getting around. It's just more annoying. Like blind blind isn't that bad, really. Like, blind? Sure, sure, blind, like, blinds you and prevents you from getting hit sometimes, but even with the blind, Camus was still, like, doing at least 20, 20 hits and getting, like, crap ton of damage off on, off on everybody. So was there was there a point to blinding? No. Could I have cured it with Asuna if I had thought about that? Yeah. Would I have to go through the trials and tribulations if I if I had only gotten Asuna? Nope. But does it really matter in the end? Not at all. Like, the Crystal Tower is really cool. I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like it's also kind of boring. Because you can only, you only climb up so much until you just want to rip your hair out from the encounters. I only deal with so many ninjas before I just want to, like, pull the trigger. What's this? Dorka? Dorka's clone. They're cloning Dorka now? Which means there must be an Un clone. Oh shit. But yeah, Dorga, Dorga clones, Un clones. They're... They're nasty, but they're not as nasty as...
Dorga and Una's bo bosses. Bosses. They're not as scary as yeah, uh, as they were. Like sure, Dorga's got some. He's got some spells. Like I keep saying, Dorga. I'm so stuck on the original. Like Dolga, Dolga still has like spells, but he has no HP. So, so there you go. Easy peasy. Don't drain me. My health is not for sale. My health is just simply not yours to take, sir. Do I cut out this next encounter? Please tell me I do. And then there's one after that. Once I get to the next chest. I really do enjoy these mixes. It's just... Uh, like, it's such a pain. This dude is... This guy right here, the Dark General. He's kinda scary. Emphasis on kinda? Cause he does, he does hit hard. Then again, everything in this dungeon hits hard. Actually, no, I'm- I think I'm lying. Because... Th this isn't the scary guy. This is not the scary guy at all. Like... This- this- yeah, this guy's one of the weaker encounters in the- in the tower. It's the ninjas, and them clones of Dorga and Un that you gotta watch out for. Cause they're the ones that'll wreck your day. I get out of my way, I just want the treasure, guy. I want the treasure and I want to beat Zan. So, Crystal Mail. Something that Camus already has and no one else can equip. So, rip. I wasted my time and an encounter on that. Well, we're not done yet. There's still more to go. We have to ascend the final steps. Don't pause, there's nothing over there. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, just to send the steps and, and go, and go. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> if there was nothing on that side, why would there be something on the other side? Get real. Alright, so we've made it. Unfortunately for us... Unfortunately for us, we walked into a trap. We've basically been affected by the curse of the five worms. And we are basically paralyzed. But thanks, thanks to Dor Do Doga, thanks to Doga, we're gonna be saved from this. So, we need five souls to oppose the 
We need five pure souls to oppose the five dark worms. But my my thing is like thing is like why didn't Zan do anything? It was him talking to us. Zan didn't send anybody after us to get us or stop stop the light warriors. Like he he just he just let it be and let us stop the curse. Okay, that was that was bad. I I shouldn't be I shouldn't be messing around with this water bottle. So Doga Doga comes off as like really like I don't know I don't know what to say. It's like Doga seems like I yeah, I just can't think of the term, but he comes off as more questioning than anything. Like, he knows, like, he knows that these are the seven, I'm the seven princesses of heart. <laughs> he knows that these are the fight five pure souls of light. Do he even say that I'm in trouble? My guy. And Grandma's just standing there like nothing happened. There he goes again. And when I first when I first heard this, I was like, "So that's that's very tense music for <laughs> for this scene." But why are we back here? Dash is dead. Yo, Dash has been... Uh, what? Nah, B. Oh, Dash, you're alive! I don't know, that that's just that's just a cool guy. I can appreciate his character. One trouble after another. Like he just got finished keeping the floating continent alive. So it, it makes sense, I'm cool with that. Man, Alice, Alice just needs to hurry up, my dude. I don't know. Like, I get it. They're they're chummy chummy with a specific person. Except these old men. I don't get these old men. Why are they here? <laughs> why why do I need one of them? Will anyone come? help. What if they all said they'd come? Then what? We would have had the... We would have had the seven, the seven hearts of pure light. Oh, dude. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, that, that, that was cheesy. Um. But yeah. Doga's gathered five, five. Yeah, five. Five. So it would have been eight. So it's been eight hearts. Hey, thanks. We've just been standing here the whole time. Dogo, it took you so long. It's been like three hours, man. But 
We're done here. We're gonna be facing off against Zan next time. See you then.